Greetings everyone, and great here for another h 3 replay. So on the bottom right side is the blue Russians, we have Judo Tiger. So on the top left side is the red French, we have Sir Shark Dad. The name of Dad today. Either way, we do have for the natives of the map, got that House of Habsburgs, which gives you some funny looking infantry, such as ones mounted on horses, a lion infantry, and of course some Magyar Hussars. As well as we do have the House of Wetton, which gave you access to the Trabants, Saxon Cuirassiers, and Age 2 Fort. No deck selected, no deck selected. Red will be building our trade post here. While blue will probably take kill that man to steal his violin. Or not. Trade pose is now complete. Yep, you will kill that man and steal his violin. And so, there will no longer be a mus musician right there. French player does have a shim available, not to point out anything. There we go. We got the Liberté, spelt funly, which has evolved couriers, and Akin regime, couriers, wood coin, crossbowmen, range of three hit points, hussars, hand cavalry hit points, advanced arsenal, wood coin, French royal army, team Sengali's for riflemen, skirmishers, cuirassiers, cavalry combat, falconets, fort, or couriers, super evolve system. Falconet's heavy cannons, cauldron, horse artillery, damage increase. 25% for all of them, barring the heavy cannon, that's just 20%. Heavy cannon, cauldrons, factory, rubber barons. And over here, we've got a land 1v1, which does evolve the wood triple, economic theory, food, wood, coin, shreltsy, cossacks, boyars, advanced arsenal, fencing school, reformist, czar, wood coin, covered wagon, shreltsy, Evolve, Reform, Transform your Strolts into Recruits, Strolzy Combat, Cavalry Combat, Falconets, Fort, Refrigeration, uh, Shrewlet Horde, Czar Cannon, Factory Factory. That man will be gunned down, he will steal his Cat's Bulger Hilt. So we got some sort of Streltsy deck here with a possibility to bail out into recruits, switching from light infantry to heavy infantry. And of course he does also have the boyars increasing the various cavalry health and damage. While the French is eyeing, definitely eyeing for an age 2 skirmishers primarily, but also maybe musketeers as well. And have okay, a bit more of a balanced deck, looks like, from the French, to simply put. We now got the Quartermaster, and his opponent will be going with a much more creative. Not age up. The Philosopher Prince. French player will age up quicker. The French deck. Hmm, not sure if he's going for a fast age up or what. It is more balanced. Don't, the cards don't seem too aggressive. We also don't see the more other cards like Wilderness Warfare that we usually see. And nor do we see the Akim Regime. Let's see. Let's give him a bunch of bourbon units. Or Bourbon, I should probably say. Got now we've got this gunman. He's not using gun. What a heretic. Kill him. Unless his melee weapon's a gun. Nope, it's a knife. It's, they should really make the gunman's melee weapon a gun. Because his name is Gunman, not Knife Man, Gunman. 
We move forward there. The Russian player is still not fully aged up. If the French player would have been a bit more aggressive, he would have been, of course, a bit more aggressive. We got some coin being collected on up here. We now have the steel traps being researched. And coin as well. The Exile Prince is being researched now for the French. Votre ordre? It's a peace treaty, treaty worth nothing. Sounds about right. Sort of like relying on the UN for stuff. Здравствуйте. Scout is shanking that lady. We'll do about one damage per strike. Blackbird Mines just got reached by the Russian. He's eyeing for his age ups. Uh, Shim available for the French. We actually got some pike. Oh, uh, Halberdiers being employed by the French. Okay. That's interesting. Streltsy would be a good counter to them. And again, when is Streltsy? Mass Streltsy, never a bad idea. They die to everything. But we got a number of pikemen in front of the field, which is a rare unit to see. Not pikemen, halberdiers. They offer good siege damage, good melee damage. They also are a one population unit. Of course, they are a little bit on the slow side for a melee unit. We do now have a round of skirmishers being played by the French. Tipped on in. The Russian player is aging up. A fort and or a factory would be very useful right now. He's going for a blockhouse. It's explorers way down here. It's actually a bit of a problem. He needs to be scouting his opponent. He knows he's been a little bit too quiet right now, which is a bit of a problem. Now look at the halberd. He has some skirmishers being pulled on the field. Going for a house here as well. A blockhouse... We'll provide him some defense, but the uh, Halberdiers will rip it apart, no problem. And he actually may not get it built in time. The villagers take some hits, and the village and the blockhouse will not remain complete. And there's a massive round of torches there. He needs to go. He's going to shim the wood. He needs to get these villagers collect the wood and get a blockhouse building immediately. You can put four villagers to build a blockhouse, so he needs to get four villagers to build that blockhouse. Because right now, he should have built it over here, because this one's probably get overran as well. He needs a militia out in the field, very fine coping research. In town center, he can evac some of the villagers. He needs to get a block house going. Not right there, that's way too far forward. He's going for a stable as well. He knows a stable will be useful against the skirmishers, not good versus the halberdiers. Yep, and this is what heavy poorly placed stuff. He needs to use the town center as a bulwark, which he's not doing, so he's losing villagers. He gets a stable built. He needs to pull out anything right now. He's going for some Cossacks, which are heavy cavalry. Balconets are here. Bring the Schultzy. 19 Schultzy would be very useful. And not losing his town center would be also very useful. Cossacks need to go straight for the artillery piece. They offer decent damage. 
but he won't get the artillery piece and those are shooting Falconess is not a good idea. There's a militia. How's Halvadir is getting some great damage on the Cossacks. And the Cossacks do go down. There's a Strelitz. Strelitz need to focus on those Halvadirs. He's going to enter melee combat with some of them, but they get ripped apart. And the Russian player backs of the game now. That should be good lessons of what not to do and where our poor positioning of your structures like that would be a bad idea. And lack of scouting out for a long time to your opponent's base is would cause issues. It cause issues. This is Anne Great saying thank you for watching and on to the next replay.